Hi, it's Dwyer. <clears throat> DwyerSportsBetting.com. Dwyer Sports Betting YouTube channel. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Let's talk about the Australian Open. I believe there's one play on the board that just screams at you. It's in the futures market right now. I believe you need to take Novak Djokovic at a in decimal odds 1.70, which means if you win, you get a 70% rate of return. In American odds, it's a minus 143. Let's make the case. His next match is against Ronick. Now understand, Djokovic is 4-0 lifetime against Ronick. Right now, after that, he would play the winner of Warinka versus Nishikori. Now, I'll agree that match is a toss-up. Let me further concede that Warinka beat Djokovic in last year's Australian Open. But that was a close match in five sets. Understand that since then, Djokovic blew out Warinka on a hard court at Barclays. Right? So just understand, Djokovic beat Warenka the last time those two met on a hard court. Now, let me say this. Nishikora beat Djokovic in last year's U.S. Open, but has lost his last two meetings to Novak on a hard court. So I believe Novak not only gets by Ronick, but gets by the winner of Warenka versus Nishikori. That would place him in the Australian Open Finals. Now let's talk about the other bracket, because it's worth mentioning. Right? Um, the winner of Burditch versus Andy Murray would be the opponent for Djokovic in the finals. Right now, just understand that with regard to Burditch, Djokovic has won his last three against him on a hard court. Right? With regard to Andy Murray, Djokovic has won his last four against Murray on a hard court. So what you have is Novak Djokovic having beaten on a hard court the last time they've faced each other all of his possible remaining opponents in the Australian Open. Right, just understand to get the payoff, to get the 70%, he's going to have to win two matches. Right, actually, he's going to have to literally win three matches. I think he's up for the task. Right, simply because his next match is against a guy he dominates. Right, the match after that. He's either going to be seeking payback against Warenka for last year's Australian Open, or he's going to try to continue his dominance over Nishikori. Then, of course, after that, he'd be facing either Burditch or Murray, a guy he's beaten at least the last three times on a hard court. Right? These bets look far-fetched. They look difficult. But if you do the math, you realize you're getting value here. Understand, too, that there is the possibility that you'll be able to hedge the play later once it becomes clearer who Djokovic is going to face in the finals. Give it a look. It's not every day that you're able to pick a guy who literally has beaten all of his possible opponents on the tournament surface right 
the last time they played. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for stopping by. Visit us at dwyersportsbetting.com and of course here on YouTube for our premium channel, Dwyer Sports Betting. Thanks for stopping by.